a tradition. All the players that, that have worn the maroon and gold. 100 years of Harlandale football. It's an honor to be the head coach, and, and uh, I want to make sure that, that I do the, the best job that I can. Coach Albert Torres heads a program that started in 1924, a 1-2 record that year during a much different time. The amount of tradition and, and, uh, th that, uh, that, that this program has had in the past and following the coaches uh, you know, that, that, that have come through here and have done a great job. Coaches like Howard Harris, who helped Harlandale football enjoy some big early success. Regional championships, which was as far as a Class A team could go back then in 1941, 44, and 45. Coaches like Rudy De Los Santos, who served as a district's athletic director for 21 and a half years after leading the Indians. And coaches like Isaac Martinez, who holds the program record for most seasons as a head coach, 23, most wins, 139, and most playoff wins, nine. So many uh, alumni that have come through here, so it, it's, it's uh, something that I think about all the time. Great players over a century of Harlandale football. Four of them have played in the NFL. Charlie Cy Casper, class of 1930, for St. Louis, Green Bay, and Pittsburgh. And two members of the class of 59, Wallace Dickey for Denver and Roger Gill for Philadelphia. And then there's Tobin Rowe, the only quarterback to win an NFL and AFL championship. The 1946 Harlandale grad suited up for the Packers, Lions, 49ers, and Broncos over a Hall of Fame caliber career. But some of the program's key members throughout the time didn't attend Harlandale. Coach Frank Aguilad has spent the last 21 years as an assistant for the program. It has become like a second home. I spend a lot of time here and the kids I've gotten to know, like I've had several kids, like my own come through here, you know, just they feel like your own and it has become like a second home to myself, my family, uh, you know, my, my daughter growing up, she was a Harlandale Indian, she always wanted to be a Harlandale Indian and luckily she was able to come over here and, and she went and graduated from here. Now I have a granddaughter that's in third grade and they ask her all the time, you know, what school are you going to go to? She goes, I'm going to the Harlandale High School. And <laughs> Coach Aguilar remembers arriving at Harlandale as one of the youngest coaches on staff more than two decades ago. And he'll never forget how coaches took him under their wing. He tries to pay it forward now when new coaches join the Harlandale family. It's part of the culture, from discipline, like shirts tucked in during practice, short haircuts, clean shaven faces, to the many, many traditions like the special ones saved for the Frontier Bowl. The kids are already on the on the uh, on, on the bleachers, you know, at 6:30 in the morning, you know, uh, you know, pound the drums, and and it can be heard across across the neighborhood. I I think that's that's the the biggest uh, you know tradition that that I you know that I got to see firsthand. I was like, wow, just the the, the amount of of uh, of spirit uh, that goes into the game, and then going to the game, you know, seeing that uh, it didn't matter about the records, you know, it, it mattered about being on the Frontier Bowl, uh, seeing the stands, you know, packed, uh, you know, it, 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 it brings a lot, of, a lot of good feelings to the game. Harlandale enjoys a 33-24 two advantage over McCullum in Frontier Bowl history with the fabled matchup set to enjoy its 60th rendition this year. It's history period that's talked about with these Indians in celebration and homage to a century of Harlandale football. The Indians are always going to give everything you, we have, you know, go back to Linsa, you know, those Indians of Suita, and we're never going to give up. These guys here know that it's their 100th football season. We've kind of made it a little big deal and tell them so far we're doing something special. You know, we, we're winning games. We're 5-0 in the district right now. And uh, you can always make that 100th year a memorable one you know, by finishing off the season and making playoffs. What it means to this team, uh, and, and it's, it was talked about when we started, and we want the history of, of this 100th uh, team to mean and, and what it's going to be from, from here on out. 100 years of Harlandale football in the spotlight for our Harlandale ISD feature presentation.